Wow, all kinds of great new Sizzix dies, Biggs dies in particular. A lot to look at, so hang on, here we go. We start over here with the Tim Holtz alterations. This is the new uh, suitcase. And what's cool about the suitcase, and by the way, this is shown at 90% of the size, so it's a, a little bit bigger than what you're seeing, is you have a square that is distressed. So even if you don't make the suitcase, you have a cool distress square for a background or who knows what you're going to do with it, right? Yeah. Oh, that'll come in. That'll be nice just as is. Yep. Uh, the On the Edge, which is a, called Twigs, appropriately. And actually, you can use it as roots or as twigs, one See, or the other. Now, we're talking of using the square or rectangle. You can put these pieces, which are movers and shapers, into there. And now you can put all your movers and shapers into the square that you, you know, not everything would fit in the tag die, but a lot of shapes are going to fit into this. Right, and again, a mover and shaper is a uh, die, metal die, that has a magnet so that when you take a big open area, and you can see the metal there in the background, that magnet's going to, you can place it exactly you want. So if you want that shape this way or that way, and then you're going to run it through your big shot or your vagabond, shape. and you'll have that piece. That's die correct. cut right out of it. Yeah, very cool. Now this is a big guy. Uh, they suggest using board weight because uh, certainly it's made for a photo album. And you can see the pieces below. Yeah, this goes at the edges to um, to bind it, and then it has a little frame and the base. Yeah, very cool. Two, you do the front and the back. There are three new 3D flower dies. And Which, if I back up, the nice thing about this is that your front and back can be different. You know, it's not going to be one big piece, too. Right. I usually like to do something a little extra special on the front. Yep. Uh, these we have three new 3D. Say that again. Uh, flower dies. One, two, two three. three. Now this one here is all kind of like a pom pom, and it actually gives you two. One uh, flower, which is about three inches round. About and three and a half. Three and a half, really. Yeah, they're large. And, and then a small it's guy. It's awesome. That's uh, just a, an inch. So, a lot of options there. This is a wrapped 3D flower die, as you can see. They've got an example here with a stick, which is yeah. cool, too. And I'm going to go back to this one, which I wish I had it right here to show you. Um, but it makes one of these dies that has the edges. So you wrap it around a stick, and that's not the die, Scott. Oh. But um, that is another flower in itself. Oh, cool. So there are three flowers in that die. Wow. Uh, down below, the third one. Uh, this is the fringed. And above, we have a flower layer, number nine leaves really cool now this one again they, they show you the pictures most of these are at 100 percent this is actually at 60 percent so using rough math you're going to make potentially a flower that's twice as big as the picture that you're looking at here so well, the large petal is three inches so you can make a six inch pet, uh, flower how about that huh? and you could make you know do them together you can make a large flower only or a small flower i don't know if you can tell you from can't the back tell at all yeah you can't tell it's all black there um but you could use those as banners um more crafting than actually putting on a page even well here's another butterfly again with the idea that you're going to be using board weight to cut through uh, of course, uh, cork and some of the other things pop to mind as well, metal. Now, this is interesting, too. Yep, this gives you a 3D look in, in regards to a bird. Again, with board weight, you can create that... Um, Hanging bird. Yeah, how do you like that? Yeah, or you can put a bird on a cake, or there's a lot of places. Birds all over the place. <laughs> yeah. These are the new applique uh, Biggs dies. As you can see, this gives you a border, both a ribbon and a scallop. And... There, uh, with the idea that uh, potentially you're going to incorporate felt or fabric. Um, yeah, they can be used with paper, but yeah. with fabric, it's look what it makes. Mm -hmm. Here's a fluffy bird, kind of a chubby little guy there. He's cute. Borders, zigzag and wave, create. Borders, fringe and frolic. And this is exactly the look I was talking about with that 3D flower. Oh, right. You wrap it around, and, except with paper, it stands straight up. I see what you mean. Now I understand. And this is the bird, uh, beautiful. Now at bluemoonscrapbooking.com, we offer all our Sizzix products at 10% off all the time. You don't need a coupon, secret handshake, or anything. And if you spend over $50 in the US, we're gonna ship it to you for free. So any way you cut it, we got a great deal going. Please stop in at bluemoonscrapbooking.com.